India's indigenous light combat aircraft has added the Israeli fifth generation Python 5 air to air missile AAM in its weapons capability. An official having knowledge about this stated, Python 5 missile live firing was conducted to validate target engagement from all aspects as well as beyond visual ranges. In all the live firings, missiles hit the aerial target. Viewers may note that India is inducting the Tejas in considerable numbers. The Cabinet Committee on Security, led by Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, approved the purchase of 73 Tejas LCA or light combat aircraft fighter jets and 10 trainer aircraft for a cost of around 45,700 crores. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Israeli Python 5 would significantly increase the combat effectiveness of India's Tejas light combat aircraft. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder, the most comprehensive military vehicle online game for PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, in which you can go to battle on more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters, and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s. The game has an amazing attention to detail and focuses on a realistic combat experience, which is why knowing your vehicles and skill really makes a difference. It's easy to get into and all you need to play is nothing more but your mouse and keyboard or controller. Immerse yourself in cross-platform combat with more than 20 million other military vehicle enthusiasts from all over the world. Download and play War Thunder for free using the link in the description below and also get a free bonus tank, aircraft or ship and three days of premium account. Tejas is the first fighter jet India has developed. It's been the center of considerable attention in India as well as around the world. It's received lots of criticism also due to the extended development timeline of more than 30 years. The Tejas is a single-engine, fourth-generation, multi-role light fighter designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency ADA, in collaboration with Aircraft Research and Design Center ARDC, of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited HAL, for the Indian Air Force and Indian Navy. It originated from the Light Combat Aircraft LCA program, which began in the 1980s to replace India's aging fleet of Russian MiG-21 fighters. In 2003, the LCA was officially named Tejas. It's powered by a single GE 404 F2 JIN20 turbofan, which offers 53.9 kilonewtons of dry thrust and 90 kilonewtons with an afterburner. The maximum payload capability of Tejas is 5,300 kilograms or 11,684 pounds. All weapons are carried on one or more of seven hardpoints, three stations under each wing and one under the under-fuselage centerline. Importantly, Mark 1A variant is equipped with an Israeli ELTA Active Electronically Scanned Array AESA, radar. An AESA radar has a longer range and better resistance to jamming. The Python is a family of air-to-air -air missiles AAMs, built by the Israeli weapons manufacturer Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. Currently, the missiles are in service with the armed forces of over 15 countries from around the world. Python 5 is the newest member in the range of Python AAMs. It's the most accurate and reliable AAM of the Israeli Air Force and one of the most sophisticated guided missiles in the world. The development of Python 5 began in the 1990s. The missile was unveiled for the first time during the Paris Air Show in June 2003. The first operational kill by Python 5 was in August 2006 during the Lebanon War. The missile was fired from an F-16 Fighting Falcon and destroyed an Iranian-made Ababil T UAV launched by Hezbollah.
Python 5 has a length of 3.1 meters, wingspan of 64 centimeters, and diameter of 16 centimeters. The weight of the missile is 105 kilograms or 231 pounds, and it carries an 11 kilogram or 24 pound high explosive fragmentation warhead equipped with an active laser proximity fuse. The missile has a range of 20 kilometers or 12 miles and a max speed of Mach 4. Python 5 incorporates the aerodynamic airframe of the Python 4 missile. It also retains the inertial navigation system INS, rocket motor, warhead and proximity fuse of its predecessor. Python 5 is said to have full sphere launch ability. That is, it's an all aspect missile, meaning it can be launched at a target regardless of the target's location relative to the direction of the launching aircraft. It can lock onto targets after launch, even when they're up to 100 degrees off the bore site of the launching aircraft. The missile has excellent imaging IR seeker that allows the missile to create an infrared image of the target rather than just pick up points of infrared radiation. This kind of advanced imaging infrared enables a missile to detect and avoid infrared countermeasures, such as flares launched by an enemy aircraft. Also, the presence of imaging infrared seeker and state-of-the-art algorithms on board Python 5 enables it to acquire small and low signature targets, which includes even the UAVs and cruise missiles. Tejas is now equipped or tested with at least four air-to-air -air missiles, which includes Python 5, R-73E, Derby and iDerby. It's also being integrated with India's indigenously developed Astra Beyond Visual Range air-to-air -air missile. The Russian R-73 heat-seeking missile, deployed for decades by the Indian Air Force aircraft, lacked an imaging IR seeker, which makes it susceptible to modern countermeasures. The weapon is no longer viable in modern warfare and India needed an alternative. This is where Python 5 comes into the picture. What sets Python 5 apart is that it's been battle-tested in wars around the world and has turned out to be a reliable weapon against strong adversaries. Interestingly, Israeli Air Force plans to arm the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II fighters with Python 5 missiles. Python 5 will be a great asset for Tejas and give it a potent punch. Indo-Israeli tie, especially in the defense sector, is growing stronger, and this will further consolidate it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.